He had a pleasant little apartment, and his daughter was getting an excellent education. His mother was incinerated in the Dresden firestorm. So it goes. The rabid little American I call Paul Lazaro in this book had about a quart of diamonds and emeralds and rubies and so on. He had taken these from dead people in the cellars of Dresden. So it goes. The plane crashed on top of Sugarbush Mountain in Vermont. Everybody was killed, but Billy. So it goes. There were no servants. People just weren't interested in careers in domestic service anymore. There wasn't a dog either. There used to be a dog named Spot, but he died. So it goes. While Billy was recuperating in a hospital in Vermont, his wife died accidentally of carbon monoxide poisoning. So it goes. Now, when I myself hear that somebody is dead, I simply shrug it off and say what the Charles Famidorians say about dead people, which is, so it goes. Somebody had taken his boots. His bare feet were blue and ivory. It was all right, somehow. His being dead, so it goes. Billy was given an emergency furlough home because his father, a barber in Ilium, New York, was shot by a friend while they were out hunting deer. So it goes. Somewhere in there, the poor old high school teacher, Edgar Derby, was caught with the teapot he had taken from the catacombs. He was arrested for plundering. He was tried and shot. So it goes. At that moment, Billy's high forehead is in the crosshairs of a high-powered laser gun. It is aimed at him from the darkened press box. In the next moment, Billy Pilgrim is dead, so it goes. Created using Powtoon.